Hey everybody, welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. I'm Peter at the Reboot. So the excavator was here this morning. I missed it. The excavator came in, the excavator, sorry, came in to dig out this area here where the support wires are gonna go back or be attached to the pole, which is gonna go here. The rock truck is on its way. Rock drilling truck. And again, another area right there. And you can see, you can see where it's hitting the bedrock. So the idea is that the drilling truck's gonna arrive, gonna put a hole in there. He says it might take an hour and a half. And uh, some of the crew members are right there in the pickup truck sitting at the top of the road there. So that's what's going on here at the reboot today. It's exciting, little progress in terms of getting the infrastructure in place, bringing in the power from the pole up there on the street, pole here, subline to the red barn, and then next year, carry it out to the back of the property. Massive generator, and then there's the drilling truck right there. Again, very highly specialized piece of equipment. Big boom, and then the drilling arm right there. I don't really know what that all costs. Drilling's about to begin here at the reboot, everybody.
doesn't take them long to set up and break it down. And apparently they uh, hit water. So what, two feet in there you think? They're gonna grab some hand tools now. Like look at that long shafted shovel of some kind. And they're literally gonna dig out some of the little, the remnants that are left in the bottom underneath the water. Now cleaning up some of the remnants left behind in the pole that the uh, drill doesn't blow out. I think I heard them refer to it as a spoon shovel. Water raised bud. They've done a great job. Thank you to Dundas Power and their subcontractor. Six and a half foot, probably seven foot hole in the ground here covered by the boards for a little safety. And they'll get that, that's ready for the pole. And uh, I don't know when that's gonna happen. Sometime in the next two to three weeks, I'm sure. Hey everyone out here at the reboot just arrived today to see that the crew is here they put this uh the pole in so it's 45 foot pole six feet roughly in the ground in that hole that was drilled i've contracted this crew this uh company called dundas power line doing a great job they've got all the equipment as you can see they've got a, a boom truck here two-person crew um all the equipment so they're what their job is they're gonna put all the wire and support wires, and I don't even know what this material is called. You've got a uh, support pin here and one over there on the other side. That'll be all hooked up today. So obviously securing and providing the support the pole requires when the line is hooked up by Hydro One to the pole at the road. And that pole itself is gonna be replaced by Hydro One with a brand new um, composite pole uh, just because that pole requires replacement at this time. And cost for the hydro hookup and the work that hydro is gonna do is about $1,000. I don't pay for the pole up there. And the cost of just getting this pole in, not the wires, because hydro covers the wire and the transformer that's gonna go on this pole. That's covered by Hydro One with their investment in the infrastructure. But in terms of the hole that was drilled, the pole itself, obviously the crew members that are doing the work, uh, it's gonna cost me $8,900 for this pole here. So it gives you an idea of the type of investment and the type of funds you have to have available to do that kind of work. So it's, it's, it's needed, especially given the plan is to get power back in the back side of the property about another 300 feet, pretty much straight that way. see now you can see where the two yellow safety flashing material there is we've got the actual guy wires the support wires are in place for the pole so that's not going anywhere and they provide support and stability for the pole when it's got all the tension and it's connected to the main pole at the roadway so progress guys it's looking really good soon we're gonna have electricity in here and we'll have the infrastructure in place to put that house in the back. <laughs> 